I must warn you fellow YouTube creators, after watching this video you might want to run and change your channel name as soon as possible because I'm gonna cover a few tips and tricks you can do when choosing a YouTube channel title that can help people easily find your channel, remember it and bring you more views. At the same time, making common mistakes when coming up with a channel name can slow the channel down and I'm definitely telling you about these mistakes too. What's going on? It's Rowan here and you're watching the Mobile Vlog, your go-to channel for making great videos and of course growing YouTube channels. I've been always in collaboration with the guys from Movavi on this channel, so choosing a name for it never was a hard task for me, but I totally understand how difficult that can be. At the same time, for many beginners, choosing a title for a channel may seem like not a big deal, but it is a big deal. It's simple. Common huge mistakes in naming do not help your channel stand out. It's the opposite. It might be the reason for lower CTR, less views from the YouTube feed and recommendations, lower subscription rates. On the contrary, a great name can drive all of these stats. So, for this episode of Movavi Vlog, I've prepared a checklist for a great YouTube channel name. Make sure to watch it carefully to the very end. After watching, there are high chances you might want to revise the name you have picked for your channel. Okay, so here comes number one point in my YouTube channel title checklist. It must be catchy and easy to remember. Many beginners struggle to find a name that is unique, that represents their personality or clearly indicates topics they make videos about. All these are great and definitely won't hurt, but when choosing a name, actually any name for a YouTube channel, brand, product, etc., it absolutely must be easy to remember. Hey, I've just come across this awesome channel on YouTube, dude, it blows my mind. Sounds like I should check it out. What's that name again? It's Margaret Krasinski 1995 Awesome Channel 777. Uh huh, Margaret Misinski 1985 Great Channel 555. No, 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 it's. You've got my point, right? So please go ahead and check if your channel name has a bunch of numbers or long words that are hard to read and remember. If it does, you probably want to consider revising the title so it would be easier for new subscribers to remember it and tell their friends about it. Before I continue on my checklist, let me quickly share a great deal by Movavi for all of you who are seeking for a program to edit your YouTube videos. Now, in case you don't consider yourself as an experienced editor, the Movavi Vlog team has an option to offer. It's Movavi Video Editor Plus 2021 and the Click the Bell Effects Pack. All of two will be available at an additional 15% discount. Movavi Video Editor Plus is the perfect software to bring your creative ideas to life and share them with the world. Every tool is right where you expect it to be, so even if you have never tried to edit videos before, it will take you no more than 20 minutes to master this program and start editing like a pro. And with the help of the Click the Bell Effects Pack, you will be able to make your visuals even more eye-catching, just like your YouTube channel name. If you feel interested, go ahead and click on the links in the description or pinned comment below to redeem your coupon. Now back to the checklist. Number two. Once you've made sure the name of your channel is easy to remember when it's shown as a title on YouTube, try to say it. Yeah, just say it out loud a bunch of times so you can check if it sounds great, if it's not annoying. It also must be easily understood by ear when people are listening to you pronouncing that name in your videos. You definitely don't want your viewers to mishear the channel's name or get confused by it. Although the name can make sense to you when you type it or you say it, it does not always make sense to your viewers, so check if it does make sense to people. Which brings us to the third point of the checklist. Avoid using numbers in your channel name. Even if the name is short and catchy, let's say Bingo42, imagine a person telling another person about such a channel. It's not obvious if, a, if 42 is a number or it's spelled out 
or it's a preposition. It's always a good idea to come up with a name that's absolutely clear and, let's say, dummy proof. So another reason for not using numbers is otherwise you're gonna have to explain how to spell it as a word or a number and probably what that number means so it would make sense to people. When something makes sense, it's always much easier to quickly remember it and this is what you want for your channel, right? Now let's check the fourth point on the checklist. Whatever name that you decide to pick, let it be catchy and easy to remember, you want to make sure right at the very start of your YouTube career that you're able to get the domain name for it. You can go with .net, .org or .io, but I would recommend .com of course. Cause if someone grabs .com with the exact same name that your YouTube channel has, Jeez, I wouldn't want that. The same about social media. If you cannot get the Instagram, Facebook, TikTok and Twitter accounts with the same name you picked for your YouTube channel, you might want to revise it before it's too late. I guess you understand the reason for this fourth point in my checklist. If you want to succeed on YouTube, you're probably going to need more than just YouTube tools, but other social media too. So you spread the word about your personal brand and more people would be easier to find you on every platform they go to. And even if you're not ready to promote your personal brand on other platforms, you definitely don't want someone else taking your name and don't want your potential audience confusing you with someone else. Makes sense, doesn't it? Number 5. Your name is relevant to the content you are making. Please go ahead and check if it is. Why is it important? Well, in most cases, your username is probably what your viewers see before they actually watch a video of yours or your channel page. Like, let's say I'm your potential subscriber and your channel and all your social media accounts are called Bingo Cooking. It's just a random example, really. So before I even click on any video of yours or see your channel art, I can suppose your channel is, well, about cooking. So if I'm interested in this topic, I'm more likely to click on your video and watch it to the end. At the same time, if your channel title is Bingo Tips, more people would be misled with this name and click on a video expecting to see other kinds of tips, but not cooking tips, which then could lower your watch time rates and some people would even get mad and dislike your video. So once again, you want a channel name to be catchy, easy to remember and relevant at the same time all these parameters are important. Number 6 in my checklist is kind of tricky cause it works opposite ways depending on the type of your YouTube channel and the goal you are pursuing. Now if you are building a personal brand on YouTube and you are not going to sell it later, you want to make sure the title contains your personal name, not necessarily your real name but the name you normally use by which people know you. In fact, this is probably the only option when it comes to building a personal brand, cause brand is always about trust and a trustful person must at least have a unique first name and last name, right? When you build your content around your personality, people would naturally want to know your name, then it would be easier for them to remember your channel return to it later, find you on other platforms and again, this kind of name would probably be unique and no one else would grab it before you. Also, you can actually combine your personal name and keywords in your channel title so people would instantly understand not only who the order of the content is, but also what this channel is about or what kind of videos it features. Let's say your name is Randy Blake. It's an imaginary name, I've just made it up. So the title could be just Randy Blake or you can add keywords and then come up with Randy Blake DIY or Randy Blake Tutorials or Randy Blake Game Reviews or Randy Blake Drives. All of those names are unique, easy to remember and it's clear what those channels are about. But if you are running the channel alone, if it's a business channel, a public brand channel or you might want to sell this channel in the future Future, make sure the title does not contain your personal name. The reason is obvious. Using a personal name would tie up your personality with the YouTube channel, which could be great, but in case you want to resign and stop making content for that channel, 
the channel would lose a huge part of subscribers since they would probably associate it with your personal name. Okay, my checklist is over, but let me give you one last tip for today. I know it's hard to come up with a great YouTube channel name and cover all the points in the checklist, but luckily there are tools to help you come up with username ideas and my advice is don't hesitate to use them. The tools I'm talking about are dictionaries and thesaurus. That's right, the dictionaries and thesaurus you might get bored at school of can be a great help when it comes to picking a stunning username. If somebody has already grabbed the name that you wanted for your channel, you can hit up thesaurus to come up with variations of the name that you want and check if any of those are available. I think that's all for today, guys. I hope my today's checklist will help you come up with the best YouTube channel name, the one that's gonna work for you and become legendary over the years. In case you already have a channel, make sure to check its name according to my list. My name is Roman, don't forget to subscribe to Mobile Vlog and like this video. See you later guys!